Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And today's video is all about the things we had in our lunchbox when we were at school in the 90s. In the UK. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get cracking. The order of what you eat your stuff in your lunchbox yeah. when you're a kid is so routine. Oh yeah. I don't know about you, but I would never change the order for anyone. No, no. I always start with crisps. You? You're joking. No. It's always sandwich first. Oh, really? No. See, that's what everyone would say. They'd say, you have to. People would tell on me and be like, Miss Joel's eating his crisps first. I'd be like, Who are you? Like, <laughs> what are you doing with your this life? This is my life. As a 10 year old, I was like, This is my life. <laughs> I'll eat my crisps. I'll eat my crisps if I want. <laughs> How funny. Like the stuff that used to be pernickety at school. Yeah. So, for the purpose of this video, we're just using Tupperware, which is what we use sort of on the go every day. But when we were at school, I had an S Club 7 oh. um, plastic lunchbox. Yeah. Well, my parents wanted me to look stupid, so they literally <laughs> gave me like a cooler thing. Chiller box. A chiller box that was like a mini chiller box, but it made me look so stupid. Like an actual freezer box. Yeah, like an actual freezer box. And everyone would be like, oh, trunk of a <laughs> Your lunchbox. 20 kilogram lunchbox. Yeah. <laughs> so ridiculous. That's amazing. Thanks, mum and dad. Squished sandwiches, that's much really like, important. Yeah, much like what you get at school. Yours yeah. are cling film, mine were always foil. I used to have like the disgusting cheap white bread until secondary school and my parents would make me eat brown bread. I've, I think I've always had brown. Really? <laughs> but what about this? So how do you feel about the end crust? Okay, so this is the end of a loaf of bread and I would kick off. Me and my mum would have it out when really? I got home. So she would never do that to me. <gasps> this was always my favourite. Right. So I've got two brothers and if I didn't get the end of the loaf, I would kick off. You're joking. I love it. So we were perfect. We'd be perfect yeah. siblings. Yeah, we would. Because you, yeah, we're not siblings. People always ask that. Yeah. We're not. The other thing I used to really like was banana sandwiches. But I'd, oh, yeah. again, I'd be mortified. Mortified. Because yeah. I wanted it mashed. Yeah. Sprinkled with brown sugar and inside some bread. You're so Mortified. middle class. Middle class. You're so middle class. What, banana? I want to sprinkle banana with a bit of cinnamon and a bit of brown sugar. <laughs> and just a sprinkling this. That's so nice. Obviously, went to a really normal school. It was not. It was not posh. But this is the standard safe sandwich. Yeah. A disgusting amount of margarine or spread or butter. Yeah. Your, pub, your parents would always give you like one slice of ham yeah. and it'd be squished by the time it was lunch. For the purpose of this video, oh, I thought I bought vegetarian ham, but I think I bought the real deal. The real deal. So, well, I never got ham because I've always hated ham. Okay. I got sandwich spread, which looks like this. Oh my God, where's the jar? There it's is right it. there. Heinz original sandwich spread. Which is just the laziest way to make a sandwich. It's just basically salad cream with chopped up vegetables inside. I haven't had it for years. Oh my gosh. Moving on from sandwiches. So, the next, well, my most important thing in a lunchbox was always crisps. Ooh, I if, absolutely love them. If you're feeling naughty, you'd have crisps at the same time as your sandwich? Or put them inside your sandwich. Oh my, oh my god. god, school hacks, school yeah. hacks where other kids are like, guess what, you can make a crisp sandwich. Oh. So I've got this salt and shake, which I never had at school, but my nan always used to have these, and whenever we went around hers, it would always just be salt and shake, which is basically plain crisps that come with a little sachet of salt, I'll show you. <laughs> So it comes with a sachet of salt, you have to put your own flavouring in, shake the bags, and then it's salty. The company are either really lazy, I think it's made by Walkers, yeah. Walkers are either really lazy, or what they say is that you add your own amount, like, yeah. it's as much as you like, yeah. you know, salt intake's not great for kids, or for anyone really. Oh, well. So um, you add that. your own, they're so, so good, and I'd get hula hoops, Yeah. sometimes I get pom bears, Oh yeah. These, these are great because kids always put them on their fingers, mm -hmm. and then, you know, if you're really skinny as a kid, you could probably propose with it, Yeah. and then you just go... <laughs> <laughs> so good. Imagine if you still ate hula hoops like that, <laughs> whenever you went out. Drinks. Yeah. We didn't drink much as kids at school. No. It's amazing that we weren't dehydrated all day. This is look how big this fruit shoot is. I used to yeah. get fruit shoots occasionally, mm. but look how tiny it is. That's like two mouthfuls. Yeah, it's it's nothing and it's yeah. gone. I'd have to give my kid two of those, <laughs> or maybe more, yeah. or maybe just a bottle of water. <laughs> and these are Capri Suns, mm. no added sugar, and you get they're like they kind of feel like yeah foil. And these are really nice. So next thing is cheese. Oh my gosh. Cheese strings. British mums <sighs> love giving their kids a, a form of cheese. Yeah. Sometimes you get baby bells. Yeah. And cheese strings, which might be American. Yeah. So who knows? But uh, we always used to get these, didn't we? Both 
equal amounts of fun. This can be moulded and thrown at people. It's basically wax. It's basically just like a For wax. bullies. For bullies, like Leah. yeah. No, I'd never got, I was bullied, not yeah. bullied. Yeah. Actually, I did both, but that's, like, <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> Whereas cheese strings, you just peel off the cheese mm. and eat it. So mm. good, messy, gross food. Remember what food. kids used to do? Peel it halfway, make a hula hula. No. You're joking. <laughs> no. I always, kids used to hate me because I used to do this. That is breaking every rule. That, I can't even deal with that right now, Joel. That's disgusting. <laughs> they hated me doing that. So after the cheese, you'd probably get something sweet. We've got a little bit of selection of everything, but bear in mind, on an average school day, you'd probably get one of these yeah. things in your lunchbox. Yeah, you wouldn't get all of them. So we've got penguins that come with a joke on the back yeah they're so famous in the uk so yeah everyone knows us that you've got to read the joke to everyone it's a terrible joke always why are penguins hard to get along with i don't know they're always fishing for compliments but <laughs> Yeah, and it gets to the point where you've, you've had penguins so many times, you know all the jokes. Yeah, yeah. A penguin bar is just a chocolate biscuit. It's literally digestive biscuits uh, by McVitie's that's covered in chocolate. It's really nice. Another option would be Jaffa cakes, but served like this. <gasps> I love them. So these are Jaffa cakes. They're like a chocolatey orange cake or biscuit. That's yeah. always the argument, isn't it? Yeah. And they come in a little tub like this. These are the small ones for kids. And yeah. that's portion control there. There's six in there, and I remember occasionally a kid would get seven in there, and that would be like, it's that child would be like the hero of the school. Yeah, it's like you're gonna have a good future. Yeah. Another one I used to get all the time is wagon wheels. Now, Yay. these were my least favourite because these were filled with jam. You can get wagon wheels that are just filled with marshmallow, and that's it. Is that your favourite? Yeah. Oh, I bought the jammy ones for the video. Oh, that's okay. So, no, I thought that's what I you know. Nice. Well, I'll, I'll show them. No, I don't mind it. I just don't really like jam and chocolate. But look, mm. it's just a chocolatey biscuit. If you snap it in half, it's just got like marshmallow and jam inside. Can I have a little bite? Yeah, go for it. Mm. Another thing you might get as a chocolatey treat would be a mini roll. Mm -hmm. Again, these come plain or with jam. Yeah. Because I bought the stuff for the video, <laughs> I put everything with jam because I was obsessed yeah. with jam. These are basically a spongy cake covered in a thin layer of chocolate with a jammy inside. So good. They're literally amazing. I mean, I prefer the ones without jam, but they are good. You're joking. No, why would you put jam in a chocolate thing? It's like Black Forest Gatto that's chocolate cake with jam in the middle. I'm like, fruit and chocolate do not go together, no matter what anyone says. Wow. I, I'm so passionate You're about so it. You're so strongly opinionated. Yeah, I am. And I dare any of you to fight me on it. <laughs> <laughs> so this next one, Fruit Winders. This is both of our absolute favourites. Contain probably zero fruit. You zero fruit. Oh, we've got a double. A double. Yeah, it take used to be the red single, one. I'll take the red. I used to unwind them completely and then take it off, whereas some people just do it as you go. I used to think that this paper, which is like a comic book, mm -hmm. was a tattoo. So I'd go hide in the toilets, do a cold compress with water and tissue and wait for a really long time for nothing to happen. That's why she's a YouTuber now, because she didn't get any qualifications. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be bigger when we were kids. No. That you... used to be literally the size of the room. <laughs> I moaned at you for playing with your food, but I sometimes used to do this. Oh yeah, no, no. Not all in one. Mm -hmm. That's why I was fat as a kid, I think. Because <laughs> I just ate the food as fast as possible. <laughs> Instead Mom. of playing with it, I was just like, Get it in. The next thing we need to talk about is yogurts. Yogurts. So I would always get Petit Falou, which are my favourite yogurts. They're French, obviously, because of the name. I don't know what it means, like Petit small yogurt. No, I don't know, but the, the advert always used to say, Petit make Petit. your bones go stronger. Remember that? Right. Yeah, yeah, Great yeah. advertising, all the bones. Absolutely love them. it. And obviously you have your spoon that rattles around in your lunchbox. Yeah, and that's the only thing that's left in your box <laughs> at the end of the day. And it's yeah. just like, <laughs> um, Froobs, the, the yogurt that was probably invented because you don't need a spoon. Yeah. Um, you just pull off the top and just squeeze so it into good. your mouth. Yeah. This is the best flavour, peach. Oh, I love peach. You get strawberry, so red berry or peach. You could do swaps at schools as well. Yeah. Oh, I love doing that. Trade being like, I really want a fruit. Yeah. I'll trade you I'll my, like, yeah. You. Although you probably wouldn't do it this because I wouldn't let you use my spoon. Yeah, we'd probably <laughs> trade on something more like Baby Bell. For, yeah. With Baby or Bell look, for cheese string. Raisins, here's another one. But that's a weak trade. Some made raisins. Yeah, but some geek at school really loved raisins. Yeah, true. So I never got this as a kid because it was so unhealthy. Yeah. This, Dairy Lee Lunchable Stackers, where you get crackers, cheese and ham and you make them yourself. Yeah. Oh, it stinks. 
That's disgusting. That, stinks. that is that disgusting. So bad. That's probably quite telling, isn't it? That is gross. That's gross. We can't actually show you it stinks. Because it actually. We've got very weak stomachs, so. Uh, <laughs> you build your own sandwich. You Anything that involves on, creativity in some way. And then some Fake animal ham, flesh. Animal flesh. There you go. And then do you not put a crack on top for the oh, top of the want. sandwich? I never had them. So that's the sandwich. I sometimes got given these. Dairy Dunkers. Did you get them? That was a good day when I got them. My mum won't buy them very often, but when she did. Oh. I loved it. We changed it. That used to be just foil. Yeah, that was foil. Breadsticks dipped into... Well, it's Dairy Lee cheese. Dairy if Lee. If you said to a Brit, oh, it's Dairy Lee, we all know what you mean. You used to get them in triangles as well. No, the foil Dairy Lee triangles. triangles. I really yeah. like those. I hated them because they were like flavourless unless you dipped crisps in them. Ooh. I love dipping crisps in, uh, in the triangles. The most boring part of the lunchbox was fruit. Mm. So I would always get a banana. If it had yeah. any bit of brown on it, I wouldn't eat it, and my mum would pay for it <laughs> later on that day. I'd be like, why did you put a brown banana in my lunchbox? You're just weird though, you like really green, I love green bananas. unripe bananas. So my mum, still to this day, has to buy me green bananas so that when they turn yellow, I eat them straight away because I can't eat them if they've got brown on them. I'm not even going to argue with you because you're just so wrong. Here's a sample of some grapes. That's about as much fruit as I'd get as a child. <laughs> Six grapes. <laughs> I'm kidding. Mum would give us more fruit, but would I eat it? Probably not. Mm. You'd either get an apple that would go back home battered in the yeah. lunchbox because mm -hmm. it'd just been taken a beating. <laughs> or some grapes, which I'd probably eat if they were red. Yeah. Green would be a no-no. Yeah. <sighs> Well, that's it. That's all the stuff that we're going to go through. That is such a throwback. It's absolutely mental. I don't really know what else to say to you guys other than I'm sorry that we've <laughs> ever judged um, our American audience on the food they eat because yeah. this is what we had as kids in our lunchbox. I know. It's so unhealthy. It's so bad. And obviously there was also the option to have hot school dinners. I was. I never had that. My parents were like, it's too expensive, so I just got packed lunches every day. Really? I think I went through a stage of having hot school lunches for a bit, but then went back to packed lunch. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just a bit yeah. of a picky eater. Let us know in the comments if you are a Brit and if you can relate to this. And if you're not, please let us know your thoughts. We'd yeah. love to know what you think about all this stuff. Yeah, did you have any of the same stuff? Did you or have? What yeah. do you think? Do you think we're disgusting? <laughs> yeah, do you think we're disgusting? Plastic cheese that you eat with your fingernails to so like, oh, weird. Yeah. But we're going to um, wrap it up there. I'm going to finish off the wagon wheel you didn't want. Okay. Oh. If you like this video guys, please subscribe. Mm -hmm. And we have also set up a page where you can buy us a coffee. It's mm -hmm. called Kofi. Kofi or coffee. <laughs> Who knows? We've been really super grateful for any of our viewers that support our work. Um, mm -hmm. Sort of give us like a little tip to buy a coffee. It's really, really sweet. If you want to do that for us, no pressure. The links are in the description. Yep. And we will see you next time. We make videos all about British culture if you're new here. British life, life in London. Everything. Everything. Bye. Bye.